Uh, I come at your discussion as an economist, and there are many in my profession who suggest that the way to get to the other side is by unfettering the market, letting the market do its thing and prices will go up and we'll all adjust to doing the right thing. Other economists or other people in the profession argue, no, uh, we need more government action. We need government subsidies, government regulation, government pushiness, so to speak. I'd like to know where the two of you come down on this. Thank you. Paul Gilding? Sure, and the answer is that the, the, the market unfettered, the market unleashed is what we have today. Right, and we've seen what that caused, right? Climate change, resource constraint. The market is very good in theory, right? The trouble is that we live in reality. And when you don't price things, the markets don't work. And therefore, you have to have government uh, put in place the things that encourage the market. I'm a big fan of markets. I'm a big believer in business. I think it's a very powerful mechanism for driving change. But you have to put the constraints around it because markets will not self-constrain. Right, I think people would agree that, just how tight is that constraint? Correct. Right, yeah. exactly. Uh, Richard? Yeah, I, I would just like to say, you know, in, in this country, every time we've had a, a fundamental and um, profound technological change, it's been driven by government, whether it was the uh, railroads, government giving land to the railroads in the 19th century, or uh, the, the space program, satellite communications, the internet, what have you. But w right now we're in a situation where what's required is the biggest technological change in our history. And we're, we're expecting that that change is going to be driven entirely by the market when we're in a, uh, a recession where companies are sitting on trillions of dollars and not investing it because they don't see demand appearing in, in the economy. It's not going to happen. The only way this, these fundamental changes in our energy system, transport system, food system are going to be driven is with uh, government effort.